Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of two, a set of two replacement wheels for my Honda lawnmower. Now I have a Honda HRB 216 TDA lawnmower that I've had for probably 12, 13 years. Still runs great, but the wheels have really dropped down. They're about seven and five eighths in diameter, and this is this is uh, eight inches in diameter. If I measure it, if you include the treads, about eight inches. Um, and this is the rear wheel. The uh, part number is 42710-V, as in Victor, E2-M02ZE. Now the fronts have a different part number. They're 44710-V. V as in Victor, E1 E00. Keep that in mind that that's very specific to this lawnmower. There's a lot of other front wheels that uh, look like they might work, but they won't have the ball bearings. Now, going over some of the unique features, you can see that here it has a bronze looking drive gear. Looks like it's about a quarter of an inch thick, and all the teeth are right there. And then there's a ball bearing, and it looks like a sealed ball bearing on that side and also on the other side and that just allows this to just move very freely very good quality injection molded and very hard rubberized material on there you can see the outer part that is on the wheel right here same thing it has the bush hand like i showed and you look at the nice tread on there to give you a nice grip as you're riding the lawnmower now i'm going to be installing these on my Honda lawnmower and let's see how well they do. So here I have the lawnmower up on my two garbage cans so I can work on it and uh, it's pretty heavy. It wasn't easy to do. So I'm going to uh, work on the back wheel right here. I used the compressed air and I cleaned off any of the uh, extra grass on there. Now we're going to see what size Cool, that nut is on there. So I added some blocks to the back right here. You can't see so that this could roll. And it turns out it looks like it's a 14 millimeter socket that's on there. And I'm going to turn this counterclockwise. And you want to keep this bolt because you're going to be reusing this and the washers also. So there's the old wheel. Still looks pretty intact. The gearbox looks pretty good. So on this wheel, the old one, you can see there's a curd washer and a flat washer. So that curve washer goes back with the curve arcing towards the unit. So we're going to clean that up and then we're going to uh, put the new wheel on. Okay, so I have it cleaned out, degreased it a little bit, compressed air. So there's the gear itself right there. Here's the cleaned original nut and the cleaned washers right there. Now again, the f first you put that washer, the flat one, and you put this one with the curve pointing towards the machine, just like that. And you take the new wheel, put it on there, and it'll intersect those gears. And you put the Torque screw back in, turning it clockwise. And then you take your wrench with the 14 millimeter and lock it in place. And that should be it. And then you repeat that for the other side. And there you have it, you have your new back wheels on. 
So what do I think about the two pack of the Honda replacement wheels, the back wheels for my HRB216 TDA. I think this is a great value. They're reasonably priced and they are very durable. And I wanted to show that the package it comes in is genuine Honda parts. So you know you're getting the real deal that matches your lawnmower. And I'm gonna have a link in the description where you can get information from Honda about all the other parts of the lawnmower to help you out. So I love this product and I'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.